I brought in B12 deficiency and you're probably looking at this going, we're not talking about vitamins now, are we? Can we just stay on one topic? Well, actually <laughs> we are staying on neurology. This um, B12 deficiency actually can lead to neurological issues. And that's why it's in our bunch of what we're going to talk about. Yeah, I, mean, I remember when I, uh, when my mom, I sort of started taking charge of her meds as she was aging. And I'm aware they, they wanted her to get more B12. And I'm just curious if you find in elderly populations that because people are not so religious about what they eat anymore, you know, it's like, ah, eh, whatever, I'm just going to eat something. And all those symptoms, you know, they just kind of go along with aging and getting worse at things. You see it a lot in the elderly. And one of the main things I think that you see is they have acid reflux. And so they are given acid blockers. Then they end up with not enough acid to break down. And one of the things that doesn't get broken down if you don't have enough acid is B12. It doesn't get absorbed because that intrinsic factor also can't get latched on without enough acid, right? So then it doesn't get to travel down to where it needs to get to be absorbed. It needs to have its intrinsic factor partner to travel down. And only the acid in the stomach can release that. So you go and take all these acid blockers. We, you can no longer, not only can you no longer digest your food, <laughs> you can't break down your food. So if you can't break down your food, B12 is not the only thing you're not going to be able to break down, right? So, um, it, and it's, it's hard. It's a hard call, right? Because they, they end up with acid reflux a lot of times because of a valve problem, not because of... Uh, uh, that they have too much acid. It's a valve problem between their stomach and their esophagus a lot of the times. And so that valve doesn't close properly. So they get this reflux, which is terrible. I mean, it burns their vocal cords. It's a terrible thing. They feel like they're coughing all the time. But then, so they could take acid blockers to calm that down so they don't feel the reflux. But the problem wasn't too much acid. So they're taking acid blockers and now they have below like a sub level of acid in their stomach and things don't get broken down. So we get into this cycle. And I think that might be one of the reasons why we see low B12 in elderly population. That's one of the big ones, I would say. And the extent of the damage that this can cause, just a deficiency in B12 ends up as a neurological, you'll see, we're gonna get there, how it ends up to be a neurological disease because it starts to break down your pathways to your brain and your spinal cord, like really? So. Yeah.